confirmed that NBA's hardest new rivalries added a little more fuel to the fire on Sunday after the Warriors came away with a resounding 123 to 109 victory over the Grizzlies. Despite playing at home, Golden State came into Christmas Day as the underdog in the midst of a rough stretch that included five losses in the team last six games, all of which were on the road. But thanks to the electric performances by Jordan Poole, who had 32 points, and Klay Thompson, who had 24 points, the reigning NBA champions defeated Jared Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies for a statement win despite being without two key pieces, Steph Curry and Andrew Wiggins. After the game, Klay Thompson spoke with ESPN's Lisa Salters about the message the Warriors wanted to send during that spader matchup. Needless to say, the four-time NBA champion made it clear he didn't appreciate the past comments made by the Grizzlies already being labeled as a dynasty. But what message did you want to send tonight? Man, they was talking about dynasty and all that. You can't talk dynasty when you haven't won before. I don't think people realize how hard that is, the commitment and sacrifice it takes. I mean, you got to sacrifice your body. And I thought that was premature talk, you know, to talk, to even mention that word. But they bring the best out of us, and I think we do the same. And uh, if you know you don't like them, you got to respect them because uh, they're a threat. Although Clay Thompson didn't specify when the comments were made, a sharpshooter has had a few tense battles with Grizzlies guard Dylan Brooks over the past couple seasons, including during Sunday's game. On Sunday, the two gave fans one of the most exciting moments of the night after Clay Thompson drilled a jumper over Dylan Brooks to extend Golden State lead to 16 with 3.41 to play in the game. Clay Thompson taunted Dylan Brooks after he fell to the ground at the end of the play by crouching over him as he made his way down the court. The refs assessed a technical foul to Clay Thompson moments later as the Chase Center crowd erupted into a frenzy. Now on Golden State. Well, there's no doubt, and this again, this this started last year in the playoffs. They actually played in the play-in two years ago. Memphis eliminated Golden State last year. Golden State eliminated them in the conference semifinals. There was a lot of chirping in that series. There was ejection. Clay Thompson addresses the trash talking with Dylan Brooks that led to his technical foul. Take a listen. Uh, just some good old-fashioned trash talk. I didn't think it warranted a technical, but I forgot about the taunting rule. And uh, it's always fun to talk trash. We've been doing that since we were in middle school. So that's when uh, you either play at your best or you get frazzled. For me, it's usually the former. This, this whole beef between the Golden State Warriors and the Memphis Grizzlies all started when a 37-year-old Andre Iguodala didn't want to play for them. But yet, Draymond Green believes there is no rivalry between the two teams after he did this to Dylan Brooks last night. Just watch the video. At this pace, it would be historic. With their latest heater battle now behind them, the Warriors and the Grizzlies won't have to wait long for their next meeting. The rivals are slated to face off in what should be another interesting matchup on January 25th in San Francisco. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.